name is Bangkole. I do um, I, I'm into building. Then I'm into rent. I I use uh, houses to rent for most of the foreigners. Then um, also I do a lot of things anyway, like car fixing and selling. You know, so that's all. Which part of Nigeria are you from? I'm from Ekiti, but I stay. I reside in Lagos. For how long have you been staying in South Africa? For almost four years. During this xenophobic attack, um, what are your experience? What did you experience during this period? The only thing I can say about it is um, that country is um, they can't change. That's what they do. Mo almost for the past four years I, I was there. They've been doing this, and it's part of their culture. So, for me, I don't encourage youth to go there, because mm, so many things, they, if they beg you to tomorrow, they are still going to do that, you know, because it is part of their system. They do it to their fellow brothers. I think the country is cursed, you know. So, what they normally do is, they don't love strangers, but I think maybe, they over pamper them, you know. So I think they need to they need to learn and then other countries need to pray for them because they don't believe in God. You know. So more, that's the foundation of their problem. So people that don't fear God, they don't fear human being. They kill people like goats, you know. So that's all I can say about them. All we need is just to pray for them. And we should advise our youth not to even try to go some, somewhere better that they can study and work and the, the country that can welcome them better you know oh, what about your family yeah they are in Lagos so I decided to just go back because most of people there they are just they just wake up sleeping doing nothing sometimes they only know or they only use their brain to do what they can do best, you know. So that's all. Thank you very much. Nice having you here. Welcome.